message to the students inside the encampment is get, go back to class and stop the nonsense. Stop wasting your parents' money, uh, Congressman Lawler says. I think that's right. We met briefly uh, with, uh, with the president and her uh, the top officials right before we came out on the steps here. Uh, we encouraged her to take immediate action and uh, stamp this out. And our, our, our feeling is that they have not acted to restore order on the campus. This is dangerous. They have shouted racial epithets. They have screamed at those who bear, bear the Star of David. Enjoy your free speech. The free speech does not matter what shouts in our faces. We're going to do what is right by America. We, we respect free speech. We respect diversity of ideas. But there is a way to do that in a lawful manner, and that's not what this is. Mr. Speaker. I love how these representatives forget their own American history. They have they forget that it was unlawful for the so-called founding fathers to revolt and protest against the British crown that established these United States. They seem to forget that it was technically, and I know this coming from a black man, it was technically unlawful for Lincoln to go in and force the Southern states, the Confederacy, back into the Union. It was unlawful, but it brought America back together and ended slavery, so I'm happy for the unlawful acts. <laughs> it was unlawful for the women to protest for women's suffrage, and they got it. It was unlawful for the protest of civil rights, but we got it. It was unlawful when USC was the biggest protest that helped America to divest from South Africa during apartheid. It was unlawful for the protests that went on that helped America end the Vietnam War and get out of Vietnam. You see, these people forget that it is not the duty of people when the government is showing its tyranny to remain under the law of that government, but for them to stand up and do what is right in the face of the tyranny of the government. So I applaud these college students because it has been college students over the more recent decades that have initiated more change in this country than most other people. Now, what his problem is, is you got BB coming on television, talking to the American public, insisting that they are on these campuses beating up Israelites or beating up Jewish people. And that is so horrible that they are you know, showing all of this aggression and saying death to America and death to Israel, which is so horrible. All the while we see that he is trying to genocide the Palestinian people, that he is bombing places where there are non-combatants and women and children, but you expect us to be respectful to the people that you're claiming that these people are harming, yet there is absolutely no proof of any harm coming to any Jewish students or Jewish faculty, but because BB says so, people are jumping on it. We have to remember, America is an ally to Israel. So they will do whatever, they will support whatever Israel says. But here's the thing, the American population is not allied with Israel. Gen Z is certainly not allied with Israel. So I applaud Gen Z, keep protesting, Keep standing, keep doing what you're doing, because the atrocities that are occurring in Palestine should not be ignored. And for a country that is so invested in Israel, we need to divest from Israel. Y'all have a great day. And remember always, you have to free yourself to be yourself, because your greatness is non-negotiable. Good journey, good vibration.